major thing is a video that seems to capture the moments leading up to the murder. Also, oh, he's walking Kay. with two girls. Now, which they walk past, which I'm gonna assume is a barbershop. Oh, or dude some type came of out. Hey guys, welcome to Live in Color. What's good, life? Yo, 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 man, this K-Flop is going crazy, man. But shout out request. Shout out Louis Alvarado. Shout out fam. He said there's a new surveillance footage that shows K-Flop never went into the barbershop. The guy saw K Flock outside and went and approached K. Mm. There was a lot of you guys that were letting us know that too. So shout out to y'all. Shout out, man. Somebody was telling you, yo, DJ Academic drop an update on Right. That. Shout out to you. Yeah. Uh, we got another update on the designer demon, the Ameri Assassin, and the Montclair Menace. Nah, no, don't don't blame him. That. Now people K Flock may have just got a hand right. Mary because there's Damn. new surveillance footage that's actually contradicting what the cops are claiming that happened. Okay? okay. Now we're gonna get to that. But first off, he got a lawyer, and it's the infamous lawyer known as Scott Lemon. If you don't know Scott Lemon, Scott Lemon also represented Shoddy and oh. usually represents a lot of people within the rap community. In a six nine case. I know it was there. Oh, shit. And usually represents a lot of people within the rap community when they're charged with crimes. Now, he put out a statement on behalf of K-Flock saying, Yesterday, I accompanied Kevin as he self-surrendered to detectives at the 30th Precinct. Arrangements were immediately made with NYPD once I learned he was wanted. As to the charges levied against him, we have begun our own investigation into these allegations. More importantly, considering the DA's significant disclosure this morning that the NYPD mm. received a tip saying someone else is a shooter, we demanded the DA office provide prompt disclosure of the videos referenced in the complaint okay. and more information. So the lawyer said that he got, they received a tip saying someone else was the shooter. Mm. Oh, I see now they looking into it real deep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just saw that, okay. On the tip, we will address bail once we have a chance to review the pertinent discovery and to further investigate the DA's noteworthy disclosure. But now, they have now a case. let me just break down the statement for you. I like Scott Lemon, but um, he's doing exactly what he's getting paid for. Okay, he's defending the client, right. but it's contradictory when he's saying, "Yo, listen, hey, pretty much, uh, the, there, I'm hearing there's new discovery that someone else is a shooter, mm -hmm. and that yo, my client is innocent." But then he continues to say, "We have not examined the evidence that the." DA, who, by the way, has to present evidence to yeah, lock somebody up facts. or keep somebody in jail, he says he hasn't examined the information or the evidence that but the cops... I understand what the lawyer is saying, but if you don't look at the evidence... I understand he's saying that, you know, he got a tip saying that K-Flock wasn't the shooter, but he kind of going against himself by saying he didn't even look at the evidence to mm. prove that it wasn't K-Flock. Mm. So how you... If you didn't look at the evidence, how can you... You see what I'm saying? Man. He contradicting himself. Kind of like, kind of rushed a little bit. You better slow it down. Because sometimes, you know what I mean, you want to get all your, you know what I mean, your yeah. info, and then speak up, you know, upon something. Because that, I hope, I don't know. But we got to see. Yeah, we got to listen to it. I don't know. Scott against K-Flop. He's just going off a random tip. Right. That tip could have been for anywhere. Anyway. For real. The major thing is a video that seems to capture the moments leading up to the murder. Also, oh, he's walking Kay. with two girls. Now, which they walk past, which I'm gonna assume is a barbershop. Oh, or dude some type came of out. Oh, and a facts. Okay. Yo, that okay. So that, from the from the previous video, I heard that he went. Some somebody say like he went in. And that was the police report from the first video. Yeah. They said that K Flock went into the barbershop. And but, called a person out. Right. Okay, but it looked like, okay. Yeah, this footage shows that dude came out the barbershop, came out the barbershop. and went in. I don't know what happened between them yeah, two from we there. See what's going on so get your story right, please. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> K Flock, and it seems like two other individuals are walking down the street. They walk past what they I'm going to assume it. is a barbershop or some type of store. Hmm. And a guy who looked like. He saw K Flock Facts. walks out uh, and starts came looking out. in the direction that K Flock okay, walks. Okay. He right. walks after K Flock. There's another guy who walks out. Yeah. There was several people kind of walking nah, in and out of that, frame. That's us. Because, dude, you notice that dude who came out, he had his hand in his jacket already? Dude, dude was looking, bro. Right. Like he was waiting for him to pass. Like he, I don't uh -huh. know if he saw him by the, the mirror, because it looked like a glass barbershop. Yeah, yeah. It's a see through one. Yep. So he probably 
he spotted him and then he's like he told his dude hey 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 that's what that looked like it right look, there it looked crazy it looked like yo is that who i think it is that's what i'm saying and you know because it looked from right now it could be following the guy right now we don't know we don't see that other footage yet you know what I'm saying? It looked, it looked like but you could tell dude spotted him or somebody told him hey hey yeah. check 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 who's out there I like, lie. this story is completely different from the other video no like, this is footage now that's what i'm saying footage don't lie that's what i'm saying this is completely this is different. different from calling out one of the scrabble different but the police report said different i wonder why they tweet the story because mm. they said that was the report from the police yeah. they tweet that story yeah. there was another guy who walks out and we see several people kind of walking in and out of the frame yeah, they, seemingly they to pretty much tell us that off camera something is going on Bad. okay now Everybody it directly contradicts what NYPD Dang, more said. people out NYPD there nypd said That's k flock went up that. into the barbershop and basically asked the dude bro what you looking at okay now that would make K Flock the aggressor. In this situation, K Flock was minding his business. Right, that's what Somebody I. Somebody came out of a barbershop and probably got into it with him. Right. Now I'm saying probably because we really don't know what we happened. We don't know. Off camera. Right. Now let's just go with the thing to say he probably got into it with K Flock, the victim. Right. Here's the thing that's still gonna make this a very complicated case, because I know some some people are thinking, well, it's self defense. Yo, it's self defense. It's self defense. Self defense. We're not in Florida. See, I know he's going to say Florida. that. Mm -hmm. See, in Florida, we got to stand your ground. Mm -hmm. If somebody come up to you and then you feel like they threatened your life, you could bust back. You could do what you have to do. But I don't know what New York laws are. I don't know how y'all regulate shit over there. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh, gang, y'all got to let us know about the New York, how they New York run. Yeah, because y'all laws are totally different from Florida laws. Yeah. yeah. This is New York City. First of all, you got a legal gun. There's no handguns allowed in New York City. Oh. So you're already looking at three to five, okay? Dang, By the way, let me just say it again. There ain't no handguns allowed in New York City, Dang. okay? Unless you're a former police. Whoa. So already, you are out of bounds, okay? So, so wait, so you can't be licensed to have one, though? Shit. You can't have a gun at all in New York City? Is that what Axe ain't got? Shit. Huh? Well, that's how Axe making it sound like. He like, trying to say you, nobody can't have shit. So what if, so what do you, I don't get it. It's the only law enforcement. That's what I just heard. Y'all confirm that for me if you live in New York. I don't know. Well, everybody breaking the rules. The That's what I'm saying. Because in Florida, everybody's strapped. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what's Florida. going on. I didn't know that it was that bad. There ain't no handguns allowed in New York City. Yeah, that's what he okay? said. Okay, unless you're a former police. Dang. So already, you are out of bounds, okay? Shit. So already, K Flock, he's down bad for that. Secondly, because it's New York City, okay, the self-defense laws are different than uh, Georgia or Florida. In oh. Florida, somebody slap you or they pull a gun on you, robbing yeah. you. If you chase that nigga down for 10 miles and you end matter. up clapping him to get your shit back, yep. you know what that means? You are standing your ground. You are defending yourself and you have no reasonable right to retreat. You could actually, if a, basically, if a nigga start a problem, you could end it. Facts. Now, in New York City, what happens is, and this is the reality of the law, basically, if somebody, like, for example, say the guy walked out of the barbershop, say he confronted K-Flock, right? Say he started talking shit to him, or even say he hit K-Flock. Now, say K-Flock pulls out a gun. If he said, oh, chill, if K-Flock shoots him afterwards, that's not self-defense. Not in New York City. New York City says Damn. you could only kill somebody only when you feel you were about to be killed by the, that person. Well, in this footage, you can obviously see that there's multiple of them that came that left that barbershop at the same time. Yeah, people lurking around him. That's what I'm saying. So if he felt, he could feel threatened in that situation. Oh, to me, sound like, sound like he's straight. Because that's, that looks like, yo. Axe that's how it is. Then, right. And he's still he kind of straight. But then again, Axe you down bad just for having a piece of paper. I know. Piece on so See, it's like I don't know about your laws, but so then that's kind of like it's like you can't have a piece, but the only way for you to you can't have no handgun at all. So how do you protect yourself in a situation like that? Uh, Yo, your laws are sticky. Yeah, they can get you jammed up for no. Yeah. If that person changes their mind, if they verbally say to you, "Nah, nah, nah, we good," because maybe you pulled a gun on them. If any of anything of the sort happens, you cannot kill that person that is not self-defense at that point they call that flat out murder okay now here's how it's gonna end up 
if it's going to be a self-defense thing, it's all going to be about what happened when that guy walked out of the bar. Facts. I want to see Not that because he started it means K-Flock yeah. could kill him. Did he attack K-Flock? Did he slap K-Flock? Did he, like, you know, do something to K-Flock? Well, that at the end of the day, why, why didn't he just let the nigga go and about his business? Why y'all, aren't you in the barbershop? Why did you leave the barbershop? Isn't that, wouldn't that, like, make you, like, yo, why would this dude leave the barbershop and be the aggressor? I feel like dude was the aggressor just by looking at the footage. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I don't know, I don't know what their issue, I'm just saying, like, um, you look like you in the barbershop minding your business. You actually took the time to actually leave the barbershop Multiple of y'all look like three of y'all left yeah. at the same time. Uh, in the, it, it, Heading his way, he's walking with two. It looked like two individuals minding his own business. That's what it looked like. Like I don't know, man. Jeez. That K Flock thought that his life was in danger and he needed to immediately use a weapon. If that was K Flock, that was rocking. You know what I mean? Yeah, the if that designer, was him, no. we don't know. Drip. You know what I mean? Again, he has to prove that in court. However, if they raise self defense. It's the burden of proof isn't really on him. It's on the prosecutor. Damn. Now, what could help K-Flock's case if this is actually going to happen, right? Say mm. the other guy had a gun. Say the other guy had a gun and maybe shot. Say the other guy had some type of weapon. Right. Say the other guy, I don't know, started beating K-Flock's K-Flock, ass, and K-Flock thought he might get killed by this guy, okay? Mm. Maybe it's one of those situations. Basically, I'm trying to say K-Flock... If he's going to use self-defense, has to prove his life was in danger in the moment that he Emerged. shot the other guy. Yep. That's if that whole Dang, person is okay. K-Flock, because his stands are completely in denial, claiming it's still not him. Okay? So, again, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh but New York is, is the absolute worst place Hell to claim yeah, self-defense at, because it doesn't matter who started it. It only matters, hey, is this the only option of you getting out of this situation? By killing someone. Dang. It don't matter if they started it. It don't matter if, no, you know what I mean, you were getting one. your ass beat, but you were still coherent and your life wasn't threatened. If you can't prove that if you didn't kill this motherfucker, you wouldn't. See, dang, that's a tough spot. Because mm -hmm. who's deciding this now? Because what if, like, one person feel like, yo, this is what I had to do. Then you have the judge saying, nah, you, you could have done this. Like. That's a, yo, what? Yeah, that kind of fucked you up. Man, I, yeah, y'all have some tough-ass laws over yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. Dang. And then on top of that, how people move now, especially in New York. Right. Everything. <laughs> Facts. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? And they know ain't nobody fighting right now. Y'all know this. So what? Know. how does this law even help that situation? Because nobody's fighting. Everybody has a tool. Man, Whether it's legal or I not. Think, I think. I think the fact that this is speculative. Yeah. I just think the fact that the violence and everything is so high, mm -hmm. that's why they're trying to put more pressure that, yo, if you use that, you can go Oh, to that could make sense too, what you're saying. You know what I mean? Right. But think about it. If it's different over here. Right. Florida, you know what I mean? But where is that? Where is worse at? It, it they're changes. trying to limit it. I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want to restrict it, make y'all feel pressure, or make y'all think before y'all squeeze that trigger. Because I didn't know they couldn't carry no handguns. Yeah. They said only the police, what they said? Only the police yeah, officers can do it. Yeah, law enforcement. I didn't know. Sheesh. I'm just learning something. To be alive, they're sending you straight to prison. Dang. Okay? We'll see what happens. This is going to be in the courts for a while. I don't see him getting bail anyway. They're trying, they're trying but we'll up. see how this case plays out. And also, I'm pretty sure there's there's probably a bunch of surveillance um, cameras in this and third that will probably show what's going on and what happened. And probably give us a little bit more of a clear picture into what he's facing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Keep in mind, the police reviewed all this information before they filed charges. So I'm going to just be hesitant in believing the lawyer who claims he hasn't even looked at it yet to, to think the lawyer's telling the truth or more accurate than the police at this point. We'll see what it is, man. But get in the comments, guys. Like them, subscribe. Listen, man, it's, it's a merry, merry Christmas, man. Stay safe and out these streets. These niggas don't give a fuck about nothing. Mm -hmm. Crazy. But you know what I could say, though, man? I don't know. Just looking at that footage, man, that footage says a lot. Like, you can tell K wasn't the aggressor in this situation. Like, looking at it, it looked like he was just minding his business, strolling down the street, mm -hmm. talking to his friends. Yeah, and still, 
keep an eye on his right because he looks like he was looking he was eyeing that in that direction yeah, too he, like he, he felt something yeah but i mean if you had that statue i would i would walk around like that too a rip i know so but he's, like, he's gang too he's, he's not just a regular you know what i'm saying you know he, what i'm saying he's not a regular person <laughs> like he he got two odds like he's a celebrity and on top of that he got rivals yeah so it's, it's definitely yeah that is crazy. But I want to see that confrontation, like what happened between that situation. Because even for the people that's looking at the situation, you could tell, like, I don't want to say they at fault. And I know dude lost his life. Rest in peace to him. Because we, I don't tolerate, we don't tolerate none of that yeah, stuff, man. first of all. He ain't wishing nothing on nobody. But I, don't, I hate the fact that the aggressor lost his life. It looked like he was the aggressor in this situation. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. I just hope they're able to work this out, man. Yes, it's a it. sad situation. Yeah, see some more footages, man. Cause I want to like, see that altercation, though. Yeah, like the one where... Him and K-Flock. He come up to K-Flock, because you could tell he up. was the one. Yeah. And I want to see what he said to him, what he did to K-Flock. Because he felt like he needed to do that in that situation. Right. And that's going to probably help K-Flock in the situation. Because this is he, looking he, good for him right yeah, now. Yeah, it looked like he... It ain't look like how it was said. Like yeah, they, they messed that the, story up. Walk into the barbershop. Hey, come out. Let's, well, they said the police run. reported that one. I wonder mm. why. Mm. <laughs> Y'all trying to set the boy up? See, the thing is, like, I don't know. What's that? Like, with the law and everything, it look like it's just like how many people I can get out the streets, mm -hmm. put them in bars. You know what I mean? Like, because for them, it's less work for them because it's already a troubled city. Yeah. So it looks like I'm trying to get get y'all locked up for anything so I can have less problems in these, in these streets. I understand what New York, um, I understand what they trying to do. Straight. Yeah, like, as far as their gun laws, but at the same time, a lot of people are going to end up hurting the situation because now, if someone feel like, yo, I need to defend myself in this situation, and I end up taking someone's life, and the judge sees it a different way, or, or you know? Yeah, you fuck. You're fuck. How you, you now you're gonna be locked up spending years for defending yourself in a situation that was deadly. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like no, no, no. it does suck in that in that position when yeah. you honestly were trying to protect yourself and you had to up it. I'm I'm happy I seen this footage though. Yeah, it shows a lot of different like, It reveals a lot. Like even though we don't know the details, like I said, we still listening. We don't know what happened, we wasn't there, but I wanna see the rest. And so, they still we don't know if it's K Flop. Yeah, we still don't know, exactly. They right. claiming this is him and this is what he did. So we just got to wait on more information. Mm. But that's what it is. Yeah. Live in Color fam, we is out. <laughs>